hey, the government of Jamaica is easy, you know, man. Alright, it's Cornwall Regional Hospital, right? This so, 10th floor. About five years now, they were working on it all now, but because of noxious fumes and sickness. I know you can't complete. Five years. Only thing them do, them paint the outside feel look like work are going and thing. You see outside look nice and inside basically empty. Cause no patient in there no. I look over here so to your left. Same building, the the hospital where the Chinese them are built for the children. So I go be the children hospital. See there? Them put up over eight floor already in a one year. See there? One whole new building they have said don't build before. That building they were built already. We can 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 be repaired. Ever seen Uncle say it? Brand new building built from foundation in less than a year. And a building we already build take four years for repair. I know we can repair. You don't know what the difference. That over there so the children are that the Chinese them build it. Chinese the ramp. Anything black man I do, I always take favor. See there? I know that can complete. That's still the Chinese hospital where them said they donate to Jamaica for children. See there? Almost done already. Pshi, puppy, 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 pup. Kepasa, sock, pussy. What they do? Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz. This one is called A lot of Jamaicans are going to get in their feminine, fishy feelings. When you tell them the truth. The truth and the fact is that. Jamaica is a croft country. Jamaica is managed by croft. Most of the people that work. Especially. Especially sorry. In the construction building field. They are croft. Not to say that they don't have the skill sets. However they move slow. As if. You put out some molasses and make it roll up the hill in Alaska. It takes forever until eternity. So this person sent me this video. I found it very interesting because if you're familiar with that hospital that they've been fixing forever and a day. One minute a year said so the budget they are three. It gone a seven. It gone a ten. And they're expecting a completion time of 2021, 2023, 2025, 2000, next, never. And then when you look at a hospital that within a year, the people from the infrastructure place, them build it up. Eight floor versus ten floor. But look at the time. The difference is the mentality the difference is the work ethics. The difference is industrious, ambitious. The difference is that people in a other country do things in a very cost effective way. That means eh, whenever there is a DEAD line, that DEAD line is met on time or even before. Because when you think about it, Time is money and money is time. Two different type of building, two different type of structure. The one that was built by Jamaicans. Quality, proper this, proper that. You know, so the C-H-I-N-E-S, them. Them love the bootleg kind of stuff. So therefore, this slapsh, S-H-O-T stuff. So therefore, maybe the quality is not as good. But me just I say the timing. Me just I say the efficiency. Whenever you're doing anything, time, efficiency, and cost is very important. When it comes to the people from over so, them I make sure I say you get bang for your buck, even though you might get some bootleg ish kind of ish. When it comes to Jamaican, them I go always tell you say. Then I know, say, me they tell you, say, it take 50 ton of steel. However, after me do the mathematics, mathematics over, it really take 150. So therefore, it will cost you three times more than that. People, me not understand how you work on a budget. And I understand if you keep the lane, the time is going to go, the cost is going to go up. 
So therefore you can add on a next 10, 15 percent annually. However, when you hear so the budget start at three and then it gone at seven, then it they are ten and it's still not done. It tells you that something is wrong. Some sorts of miscalculation or psychs are used people upon some sorts of hustling tip. Take for example that highway that is going from St. Thomas to Portland. It is said that the people among complain, oh, the government is giving all of these contracts to the people over so from the infrastructure place. So therefore, we do not feel that it is right. So therefore, they make up all sorts of problems. And then when they actually get the contract, they can't complete it. They not have the manpower. They not have the machinery. They not have the know-how. So therefore, the government take it and give it to a little man where I'm friend. Him get deposits. Him get this. Him get the time. Him get whenever it's supposed to be completed. However, him not completed. So therefore, the government have to take it back from the contractor, from the subcontractor, from him employees and give it to the people and start all over again. Like I've always told you about this little man syndrome. Whenever you get the little man, it sounds very little at start. However, it is going to cost you three times more because he is either going to F-U-C-K it up or he is not going to complete it. People, me no know what is wrong with these workers in a Jamaica. And I am not just speaking about these people that have big contracts. Me I talk about the average man on the street where claims that him a plumber, claims that him a contractor, claims that him a carpenter, claims that him a welder. They are very slow. Like them say, a Jamaican is going to be laid for his own F-U-N-E-R-A-L and time is money. So therefore, if you don't have any time to waste, I would recommend that you get somebody other than some sorts of Jamaican and people. I am just speaking in general terms. Yes, there are a few Jamaicans that work and are efficient and cost effective. But the rest of them are most of them in general. They are as slow as whatever. And it makes absolutely no sorts of sense to do business with them. Unless, of course, you want to get some sorts of stroke. Point blank and period. Further on in the news. The picture that you see on your screen. This man's name is Peter Davis known as Devil or Devilman. This is the picture of the atypical Man that most Jamaicans, women, Jamaican women, especially from the garrison, like him young. He is not any sorts of monkey sample. Was him go have on a couple of tattoo and then him go use the cake soap or the bleaching cream. He is prime time. He is the most desired bachelor in a Jamaica. It seems as if. This youth, it is said that he is from a place called Riversdale that is in a St. Catherine in the Linstead area. Based on the information, it is said that on or about the 17th of December in a place called Penn District that is in St. Catherine once again, he went to go look for his baby mother. She is Kamisha Barrett, 40 year old laborer from somewhere. They have a child together. Mr. Davis is about 32 years old. Don't know what happened if him here say, him girlfriend or ex that is, have some other sort of man in the house. A 25 year old man, his name is Mr. Richard Swaby. Don't know what transpired if there was some sort of verbal altercation turned physical and him wheel and pop off, blaze up the man a couple of can, K-I-L-L-E-D him on the spot. He then take for himself like the old time dance. Based on the information, it is said the Popo put out a warning and they are saying to the people them out there, listen, this man ain't nothing to be F-U-C-K-E-D up with. If you see him, please call 311-119-811. Just do not take him on by yourself because more than likely he is armed and dangerous now people like i said i don't know this couple or this ex-couple what they went through before but common sense tells me that 
This man did not just get up, go over him ex house in which they, ch they share a child and just blaze up her new man. There had to be some sorts of arguments. There had to be some sorts of T-H-R-E-A-T-S that was sent because this man obviously was upset when he went over there. Don't know what transpired. Don't know who initiated the fact that his name is Devil or Devil Man. Tells me that more than likely him have some sorts of Tasmanian devil kind of attitude. That means him have anger management problem. The problem with a lot of these ladies in a Jamaica, all and young, especially from the garrison. Them one pretty boy. Them one the gangster. Them one bad man in a them hole. So instead of thinking about family or thinking about structure, it seems as if their pum pum is their priority. So therefore, if the man can walk her good, even if I'm a clatter, even if I'm a A, B, U, S, E, her, that is the thing that is number one on the list. So people should take up a youth that is younger than her, 32 year old, she is 40, in the same age bracket. Then she get her next one, 25, that is the one that lost his life. I am sure that if that youth had some sorts of one in that, listen, you see that lady that the P-U-M-S coming like crosses, the fact that she was entangled in a some sorts of dirty bungle. So this youth loses life, don't know what transpired like me say. But people, this is a tragic situation that is happening all over Jamaica. This is not an isolated incident. So therefore, my advice to you, Whenever you pick up a woman, also do the background check on the ex because it might come back and haunt you. And that is the case in this case, point blank and period. Further on in the news, it seems as if the poor poor in a Clarendon, Manchester, Mandeville and those adjoining era is like them not get the memo. It seems as if them never hear when me tell them, say, there's a set of crooks that are out there, including one individual that is called Bitter. That is on a recruitment campaign of a whole bunch of thief from A to Z, gaming boxes, liquor, stick up people place, broken up people shop, thief people car, people bike, anything that is of any source of value. He must send out him cronies to go get it. However, fast forward about 24 hours or less ago, in a Manchester, it is said that a Toyota Hiace bus was stolen. That is one of those buses that them use as minibus. The Paw Paw put out an APB. It is said that the Paw Paw spot and chased that vehicle in a Clarendon. When them reach the vehicle and come out, some man jump out of the vehicle with all sorts of pie pie, all sorts of toll. It is said that some sorts of S-H-O-O-T ensued. After the smoke clear, one of the thief was conned up. He lost his life on the spots. He was taken to be pronounced at the hospital. Too late was the call. However, it is said that the other two men escaped. Take for themselves. Take it to the bushes. Now, what I find very strange is that I gave the Popo in a Mandeville, Manchester, the names and location of most of the parties that are involved, including the Popo, including the main figure that more than likely is involved indirectly or directly in a the thiefing in a Mandeville, Manchester, Clarendon era. But it seems as if the Popo did not get the memo. It seems as if these poor poor don't take their job seriously. It seems as if they are just going to sit around with their eyes wide, wide shut and allow these criminals to pretty much be roaming all over the place until they do something to them. People like me say, these poor poor in a Jamaica, it seems as if them either fool, them licky licky or them corrupt or maybe it is a combination of all that I said people let's see what is going to go on as it pertains to Clarendon, Manchester, Mandeville and their joining eras. If these Pope are actually going to take their job seriously, if they are going to read the rid the place of these pestilence that I've spoken about on several occasions.
people it seems as if Jamaica is for the bad guys and the good guys are held under siege point blank and period so anyways people thanks once again for checking out my video if you appreciate videos like this please show your appreciation by liking commenting sharing and subscribing to my channel that is how youtube promotes videos like these to like-minded sensible persons like yourself